Brexit is a disaster and what will happen is the UK growing businesses will um, cease. Traditionally in the UK, 90-95% of produce across the whole country is harvested by Eastern European people and obviously within the EU, free movement of travel and freedom to work anywhere within the EU and that worked great for everybody. Unemployment in this country was quite low, so they weren't taking work away from Brits. They were, and they were coming here for a short period of time and then going home again. Now what's happened with Brexit, you cannot legally work in this country as from the 1st of July, so now it's from about a couple of weeks' time. Across the UK, there's currently a huge national recruitment drive to try and persuade more Brits to take up the mantle. Pick for Britain. We had 50 or 60 uh, Brits with Pick for Britain campaign, which worked very well. Now, of course, most of those people have gone back to their day jobs understandably and because of Brexit we're short of people. The percentage of British fruit on the shelves has gone up quite dramatically in the last 15 years. You, you don't, in the peak of the UK strawberry season, you no longer see imported fruit on the shelf because the UK growers are supplying 100% of what the consumers want and it's fresher, it tastes better and all of the other positives we know about with British fruit there will be less. Every year that goes by, because of the pre-settled status that people from Eastern Europe now need to work in the UK, you will have roughly 20 to 30 percent less people available for the harvesting of fruit. And particularly the Home Secretary has a, thinks that robots are going to, robots, robots and Brits are going to come to the rescue and suddenly replace all these people overnight. The technology is not at the stage yet where it works. That's very much in the design stage in the first field trials. At the moment it's expensive and at the moment the government has no plan. What will happen is the UK growing businesses will um, cease. I voted for something that I think is better for my country. Okay. Personally, it's a disaster. Can we come some more help? I was fed up with being told what to do by a non-elected bureaucracy based in Luxembourg. What do we get? £150 billion trade deficit with Europe every year? That's our pleasure. That branch will just come straight out. Perfect. Things have changed considerably. We used to have 50 acres of strawberries but we've now stopped growing strawberries and we had our own pack house, which again we have stopped. 30 years ago there were lots of 30 acre vegetable farmers, now there's basically none. Huge numbers of trees have died. We won't be growing them commercially anymore. But strawberries are a very high labour intensive crop. Our own is very limited, I mean last year I employed 35 English people at this time of year. For the horticultural industry, the biggest single problem it is struggling with at the moment is labour. The small farmer will disappear. That it's all a bit of a mess. I hope you enjoyed that. Byline TV is one of the few platforms doing on the ground fact-based journalism. So do support us. We can't do it without you.